Before we get to this video, if you wanna join a free community of people and a support system that will help you quit your phone addiction and break your addiction to social media, there is a free group that you can join in the description of this video. And with that being said, you probably clicked on this video because you've tried to quit social media before. You've tried to delete the apps off your phone and spend your time doing things that are actually productive for you. You've tried to break away from Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, all these apps, and you've tried to break away, but you still haven't been able to do that. And why is it? And it's specifically because these apps have been made to be addictive. They've been made to profit off you ruining your life. That is how they make money. They are only designed to keep you on that platform for as long as possible. And that's why every every single day, now we see people just staring into their phones. We're staring into our phones all the time. We have kids who are can't even speak yet, staring into iPads and phones, right? We have our parents who are always on Facebook, just scrolling. We have our grandparents always on Facebook. Just every single person is addicted to their phone or some form of technology in this modern day. Well, pretty much everybody. And I can tell you as someone who has been able to break away from this addiction, life is so much more enjoyable without it. And with that being said, how do you actually break away from it? Now, you've probably watched videos on how to break your phone addiction before. And believe me, I did the same thing. And what they all tell you is that social media is bad. They all tell you it's addictive, but they all say, oh, just do it in moderation. It's okay if you spend a couple hours scrolling, but if you scroll too much, then just make sure you spend less time. But how am I supposed to spend less time on an app that has that knows me better than I do. These algorithms can keep you on that platform so well that it is actually scary and it is extremely hard to actually break away. So how do you actually do it? Now, to actually break away, you need to develop a couple things in your mind and you need to develop a mindset that just deleting the app isn't gonna make you break away from it because it's so tempting to just go back on. It's so easy to get caught back in that loop of just like, oh, I'll just check it once a day. And then you end up scrolling for four hours because that's how these apps work. They have specific things where you go to check them. Oh, well, maybe I got a message from my friend. Oh, maybe I can just go check this thing. And just one story, one, one reel, I'll, I'll just watch one reel. And then three hours have gone by and you've just been scrolling. And by the time you put your phone down, you feel guilty for how much time you spent on this app. And and to actually quit, you need to understand that you won't be able to quit just perfectly like that right away. That's not the way it works. Every single person wants to go from scrolling three hours a day on social media and then just never going on it again, but they're gonna keep you coming back. These apps are meant to be addictive. You're gonna get urges to go back and that is fine. But the mindset that you need to develop to be able to quit this addiction is that you're not gonna be able to quit that quickly. It takes time to actually get off of these apps. But the way that you need to look at it is doing something called progressively deloading. Now, if you've spent any time in the gym, you probably know what progressive overload is, right? You go and you start with a light weight. Maybe if you're doing bench press, you start with just the bar. Then you press that after you've been doing that for a little while, then maybe you add 10 pound plates on it for the same number of reps that you were doing with the 45 pound bar. And the more you do it, the more you're gonna get better at it and you're eventually going to be able to add more and more weight and you won't be able to add weight every single session right sometimes you'll be able to do less reps but the overall trend of your success should be looking it should be going up right it should be going up and after a year of being in the gym you can probably bench close to maybe 150 pounds for a couple reps or maybe you're doing like 200 for a one rep max and that's only because you started with that bar and you started with a light weight this is what you need to do in terms of social media and this is what's gonna happen. You need to be willing to accept the fact that you won't be able to quit social media core cold turkey or at least most people won't right away and they just can't 100% just get away from it right away. But what you can do is make a plan to spend less and less time on it per month over the next year. If you're actually serious about quitting social media, then you need to be willing to actually take some time to quit social media. It won't be this easy quick fix that everyone wants to give you like, oh, it can just happen instantly. No, it takes time. But the way that you wanna do this is tracking how much time you spend on social media every day and comparing that month per month as you try to quit. So say you scroll for an average of three hours every single day in this month whatever month say it's January of 2024 you've spent three hours scrolling every single day 
Now, the next month, I want you to have it in your mind that you won't be able to quit like 100% fully. You won't obviously just be able to quit instantly, but what you can do is limit how much time you've been spending and try to do better. Because a relapse of just like, oh, I went on social media again, and when you're trying to quit, if you spend three days off of it, then you go back one time and you spend some time on social media. That doesn't mean you've been, that doesn't mean that your addiction is back. In, that doesn't mean you failed. That doesn't mean your addiction has come back and you just failed. You have still made progress because if you spent, if you didn't spend time on social media for those three days, that is progress in the right direction. And you're naturally going to start improving if you're willing to do that over a long period of time. So say you scroll for three hours every single day in January of 2024. Okay, that's your baseline. It's where you're started. Then whatever month this is, I want you to, I want you to set a goal for next year, next year, so January of 2025. How many hours do you wanna spend scrolling a day? Maybe it's less than 10 minutes on social media every single day on your phone for that month. Then you have that goal for January of 2025. Now what you can do to work towards that goal is to progressively spend less time on each app. Now you can spend less time on these apps every single month and don't go about this the mindset and be like, oh, I scrolled for three hours every single day last month, so now I'll scroll for two hours and 59 minutes. No, try to spend time off the apps. Try your hardest to be able to spend time off the time off these apps, but know that you might relapse and you are going to relapse because that's their, they've hijacked our own brains. They are meant to be addictive, but the more and more time you can spend away from these apps, the better you're going to actually be able to stay off them and the more self-control you're going to develop. Maybe you'll be able to go three days initially without scrolling, but then you check for messages on your account because you, you're worried your friends are texting you, right? So then you go back on the app and you accidentally scroll for an hour and now you feel like you failed. So you might as well re-download the app and you're never going to be able to quit, right? That is not the mindset you want to adopt. If you're making progress, then you are making progress. That's what you want to be able to do with this. And the other aspect of actually being able to quit social media is incorporating something new into your life or developing a new addiction. Because as someone who, as someone who has had a lot of trouble trying to balance social media in the past, when I was like in grade seven and grade eight, I was spending close to six hours every single day on social media. Once I started to replace that time with something I genuinely loved to do, which was weightlifting, once I picked that up, social media became so much easier to stay off of because I was addicted to a healthy habit. Being in the gym and lifting weights, especially with other people, just felt right and I was addicted to seeing progress. I couldn't, I didn't wanna miss a day. Obviously, I did miss some days, but I didn't want to miss a day of lifting weights when I was scheduled to train because I just enjoyed it so much and I was seeing progress. It's the same with social media because having a capacity for addiction can be something that is actually very helpful in terms of making progress towards something that is healthy. And I've always had trouble balancing stuff. And this is why I had to completely get rid of social media because unlike a lot of people, I can't really balance things. I can't. If I want to do something, I want to do something 100%. I want to go all in. It's like this with YouTube. That's why I upload multiple times every single day because I want to go all in. I can't just sit around and like record one video per week, even though I've done that in the past. And just I was, and even though I've done that in the past, it's because I was working on those videos, whether it was editing or scripting or just putting a lot more time into them more and more and more but now I've changed kind of the style that I'm going through and I'm still addicted to that progress and still addicted to something else that's not social media it's uploading on YouTube and doing my best to help other people know that quitting social media isn't necessarily just going to be something that's so easy like everyone makes it out to be in these videos because as someone who had a very bad social media addiction it was very hard to break in those initial stages and eventually it will come back at you but that's what happened to me at the start of this trip in New Zealand but I've been able to break that addiction again and life has become such a beautiful experience again with that being said if you don't know already my name is Colby Wallace I am an 18 year old artist based in Canada currently traveling in New Zealand Zealand. If you want more videos on how to improve yourself, how to break your phone and social media addiction and want to maybe hear some of, some of my original music, might as well subscribe. Not sure what you're waiting for. It's a win for you. It's a win for me. Win for everybody. And with that being said, I don't have much more to say except never stop creating my friend and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.